Hello everyone, and look what we have here. The amazing DeLorean and the Back to the Future game right here. This is a fantastic game, my friends. It is made by Telltale Games, I believe. The same ones who made the Jurassic Park game and some others as well. And what I'd like to do is just start a new game. Look at this. Look at the graphics on this game. Um, if you're a fan... Uh, yeah, let's show the goals. If you're a fan of Back to the Future, my friends, you need to pick this up. If you've seen the first movie, the second, and the third, this continues right off. Of course, I'm going to do commentary. All right, I'm ready. But I'm going to quiet down for Good the evening. scenes. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26, 1985, 118 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, Jack Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me! The car! The car! If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. And so, guys, this is obviously, obviously from the first movie. <laughs> what did I tell you? 88 miles per hour! The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! So, this is an adventure, guys, and you can pick your answer, and it'll not really change what's going to happen but it, yes it can change different scenarios eventually you're going to get to the same end but i'm just going to play through here and hope you enjoy this so i'm going to say where's the car Ow. doc what would happen to the car calm down marty i didn't disintegrate anything the molecular structure of both heights tied of the car are completely intact where the hell are they the appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait, Doc, you put your time machine? Wait. Time machine, dog. Time machine, dog. Time machine, dog. What, you put your dog in a time machine? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You you put your dog in a time machine made out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flush dispersal. Look out! That's different. Uh Doc? Oh. That's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. And so here you have the opportunity to walk around. I'm controlling Marty right now. And so, let's see what we can mess around and look at here. Can't go in the back. Uh, ooh. A sealed container where the plutonium is. What's in the box? Don't touch that! It's plutonium! Pl uh, plutonium? How do you think I generated 1.21 gigawatts of power? <laughs> Alright, toolbox. Notebook. Notebook. Got it! Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? 
My latest invention, the thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's mass equals i times z, and e equals the square root of z times c squared. And the this isn't the way it happened. The first, the first movie. Uh, something's way off here. Is everything okay? Yeah, Mom. I it was it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past. And Doc was there. Well, oh. you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. <laughs> but you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap! I'm late. And there you go. There's the intro. Love it. Love it. Love it. So, as we're going through the intro, okay, this is, this game is done in episodes. So, basically, there are five of them, and they continue the story. And as you're playing through, right, you, you see the progression. And the, your choices make will change the dialogue of the characters, but eventually you're going to go to the same end. It's not like there will be a different ending. All right, and that's kind of fun, and I love the attention to detail. Look, Einstein's bowl from the first movie. You see uh, all the clocks from the first movie as well. I'm a nut, a Back to the Future nut. So, I mean, I look at all this detail, and, and it's just, like, amazing. You see all the uh, music equipment from the first movie as well, the big woofer, um, the big speaker. Actually, the writers of the movies contributed to make this as authentic as possible so that if they would have made the movies this would have been the result so dad are we too late to stop the sale better late than never you wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here that's doc stuff the city has no right now to... son i know you're upset but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage. And, hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. At least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty! Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... remembering. So now I can control Marty again, and let's look at that dog feeder in the first movie. Hey, let me now, Biff. Leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. Sorry, Marty. Remember now that George stood up for himself, and now Biff is afraid of him. So that's kind of cool. That that's accurate to the movies as well. And that's cool. You can mess with the dog feeder. What else? Oh, television. Does nature contrive it so that even with a time machine, you can intervene to prevent your own conception, for example? See little Marty Snicker there, fish tank. A fish tank? I never knew Doc raised fish. Doc's fish had weird taste and decor. I kind of like Doc. 
Well, let's talk to Marty's dad, see what he has to say. George, George McFly. Excuse me. Hey, Dad. Yeah, who's running this sale? Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly! Well, what's Biff doing here? What's Biff doing here? He wasn't a friend of Doc's. It's a public sale, Marty. Everyone's allowed. <laughs> Even Biff. Hmm. I had a dream, Dad. Do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff. But I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. What did you dream? Oh, just <laughs> weird stuff. Yeah, about Doc. Well, that's understandable, don't you think? I guess, but I feel like it was telling me something. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know- Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it. But Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. Remember, guys, he was actually... He went back into 1986 in the third movie. And so he's back there with his family, Claire and the Jules and Vern, his sons. Um, I don't want to spoil this, but remember, if you don't watch the third movie, first, second, and third, then you're going to be a little lost. But you can still play the game. I can fight my own fights, Dad. About Biff... Dad, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle him. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son, I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, let's keep looking around. I want to really look at that model of Hill Valley back here because I think this is interesting. Doc built this model of downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's Whoa. notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Mind if I look at the courthouse? Can I see that model courthouse for just a second? I need to get something out of it. Like what? A not guilty verdict? That was a joke. Oh, ha. But really, can I? No, nah, I think I'll hold on to it. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me Brown's to... Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Ah! He's not gonna give it back. Jeez. Can I look at the Seems model? It's kinda empty without the courthouse. That's true. Ooh, mind reading helmet like from the first movie. Ago. Actually, I guess it was. <laughs> Well, let's see what else. Ooh, jukebox. Let's talk to Biff again. Hey, Biff. I only want that notebook because, well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead. Time to get over it and move on. I'll buy it from you. I'll pay you for it. How much? Um... Not enough. You wouldn't understand the notebook. That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? Seems like this is not gonna uh, work. Never mind. Gotta find an alternate way to do this. Oh, a guitar. Marty's guitar, in fact. Hey, Dad. Wh why's my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up 
I'll iron things out with the bank. Oh, that was nice of him. Let's you see. This gives you hints here, right? And here's interesting. If you can actually grab stuff in your inventory, I can combine the guitar with this, just like in the first movie, and here's see what happens. What a goodie! One, two, three. <laughs> Hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Let me show you how it's done. Well, it's one for the monkey, two for the snow, three to get ready now, go, Scott, go. Hmm. Let's see if I can Let's turn the noise. amplifier up. Sorry about that. I had to cut the video. So now this is turned up. Let's now see if I can get this. Now something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. Uh oh. You're in trouble, Biff. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. Oh, that's on, golden. Man. Oh, shoot. Yes, I got the notebook. Uh, Doc, where are you? Time machine. Doc? Einstein! Einstein! Where do you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? Einstein was driving. Huh. Wait a second, there's a shoe in here? Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I programmed the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you come to my rescue in the past. Or was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please, take the DeLorean back, or, or forward, to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark, last time departed. Good luck. Right, right, last time departed, last time departed. Huh? Hmm. Oh, jeez. It's not come working. Come on, come on. Come on. Crap! Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Jeez. Let's try the time circuit switch. Looks like the time circuit still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. Alright. How about the I can display? Use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Well, once I know when to look for Doc. Alright. Well, it doesn't seem like I can do much in here now. So let's exit the time vehicle. Einstein. Einstein, can you help me, buddy? Huh? What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? 
say something. Hmm. Well, we're coming up on time here, so I'm going to be stopping in a little bit. I hope you really like this. Um, I'm just going to start stop a little early. Guys, if you enjoy this, I'm, I have fun with this game. I think it's the greatest. I want to find out where Doc is. I want you to find out where Doc is. So please hit the like button below or subscribe. Uh, I think I'm going to have to use something in my inventory possibly to help me out. So I will see you next time guys and thank you very much for watching.